Oh, he might be. No, I don't even want George on this one. Yes, people, welcome to Never a Foul. As you can see, me and Roms are back in the same place 24 hours later. One's happy, one's not. And we've got Kunle in the building as well. I don't know. He looks like he's doing a prayer right now, the way man's, his face is paused there, eyes closed, <laughs> praying for praying for the goodness it's of Sunday. part of heaven. It's yeah? Sunday, bro. I didn't go to church, so I have to pray. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man's pray. praying he doesn't get that Goodison Park energy. He's thinking, now nah, he's to pray today. Lost their last four and five at Goodison. They need to change that. Um, but guys, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe as well. Obviously, one touch TV is in the building. Make sure you check them out. Rom's obviously on here when he can. He was on here yesterday, so big up for coming up to the uh, studio as well. And then oh. we're gonna get greasy in as well because we've got a talk on Chelsea today. But guys, you know, you know, you know what we're saying. First of all, how is everyone before we get into what we know is gonna happen? Um, I'm amazing, bro. This this has been one of the best. Best, best weekends. Whenever United lose and Liverpool win, and you know what made it sweeter? I was watching it with Kaz. I was watching it with Kaz. The guy that was giving it all of this. We're going to pepper Brighton. I ain't scared of Brighton. We're going to go on a run. All this stuff. It just made it so much sweeter. If you, listen, if I caught footage when Hoyland scored, the things that that, that guy was doing, <laughs> running around the yard, <laughs> screaming. Bro, when that got ruled out, oh. it's satisfying. The, the, the way I was so satisfied was wicked, but no, nah, man, I'm great. I can't lie. On this Sunday morning, I'm I can't complain. I yeah, can't complain. Yeah, you're man. True, you're true. You got you got Akers flowing. You got winds going. <laughs> Every other team, like oh man, for me, like I haven't got a United top on today. Not no disrespect to United. I love you, United, but. Like Kunle said to me, every time we have a bad result, he's like, I got the U I always wear the UV top. I've just cropped it. Now next time I'm not even gonna do that. I've always been putting on the UV top when we've got a bad result. Obviously, I've got the Barcelona top in the background and the Dutch thing for Ten Hag. Cause I'm still backing him. But Kunle, what are you say, man? Good weekend, first of all. Oh yeah, now my people, my people. It's your dark skinned man from the motherland. If you didn't know before, now today you go understand. Oh na 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 I've got to answer my cry. You look, you look, you know me. Um, I'm biscuits when I need to be biscuits. So come for me. Come for me. Come for me. Like, hey, Rob, should we go first? Or 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 you go first because I've, right, I've, I've, cooked, I've cooked, I've cooked these two enough, but I'm, we, I'm going to carry on. We're, go, we're going to carry on. Right. You know what I mean? Because you got to enjoy the moment I'm, before we get better. First of all, I've not seen Ty for a couple of weeks now. Get me? Last time we hung out together, man was throwing out. Declan, uh, I can't wait to see what Declan's on. Uh, this is the game. He's injured. I'm trying to see he's not that guy. He's not that guy. And what did I say? I just sat back and said, Declan man Rice, of the match. man of the match, loaded. I saw it, bro. I knew the boy was going to be up for the game, and he was up for the game. And whenever Ty sees Rice now, he gets nightmares. And I warned you. I warned you. But we're back here. I, I don't want to dwell on the past. I know you have back-to-back -back three ones, but I don't want to dwell on that first three one. Let's let's discuss the current. Yeah, one we know that three one wasn't a three one, yeah. so I like that you want to move on. It's good. Huh? It's good. Yeah, yeah, no, you no, know the, that. No, the score line still said three one, my guy. Yeah, <laughs> the, the score line. <laughs> the, the game did three one. But... Uh, oh, no. uh, we'll, we'll, okay, but, but, but like you said, for like you said, this weekend, weekend, let's this deal weekend. with Brighton yeah. because do you know what? Do you know what the biggest thing for me for Man yesterday is? Yesterday was the time where the players had to show their manager, we're behind you, Gaffer. We are riding for you. Bon Jade and Sancho, we're riding for you. Home game after the international break. We've been through turmoil for the last two weeks. Just had a 3-1, had a long international break. 
this is the time to be answered. And what the guy showed me, nobody was up for that game yesterday except Hannibal. And you could say Hannibal potentially was fighting for the manager, but no, he was just fighting to be in the starting lineup. He didn't care about Ten Hag. You know, to be fair, wait, you know, wait, be... Roms. I'm not wait, wait. I'm not cool. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Cool. Let me go. Cool. On, go on. So they embarrassed the manager. So I, I remember Arteta was in a similar situation with Abamyang when he dropped him and all that. And he, we played West Ham at home, London derby. They're like, this is the time where you show that you're behind the manager. And they got behind him, won the game, and the rest is history. Ten Hag has got a lot to do now. He he couldn't risk losing that game. He had to win after all the stuff he said about Sancho and the things going on at you. He had to win that game. But De Zerbi, when they said, look, I don't want to be a tourist at Manchester. I'm going there to win. How can he say that before the game? I'm not going there to be a tourist. And then he came in disrespectfully and done your dance. Roms, whenever I think of Man United right now, I think of that guy. You know the guy, that rapper? Are you into, are you into hip-hop? Of course. Old school, mm. old school hip-hop. Who's the guy that sang that song? I'm going to knock you out. Oh, yeah, Mama, saying that. Gonna, yeah. I don't know the guy, but I know the tune. I, I know, know the, the tune. Song, I, think, I know the tune. Yeah, 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 I, know yeah. The, yeah. Um, I don't know if somebody well, he sings it. Well, let, let me just tell you, there's a there's a few le- there's a letter in his name that's pre- uh, it, it works well with Manchester United right now. His name is L L Cool J. Oh, right, L- L- L's all over the place. Oh, I didn't United, even know like L O. I did. You know, of course, I love L O Cool J. I didn't even clock it was him. Well, LL Cool J is what's on my mind when I think of Man United now, bro, because there's so many L's left, right and center. I don't know what's going on. And and I wouldn't lie, this guy, Don, Don, Don tried to tell us. He told us about <laughs> Man United's fine power. And you know what I thought? You know what? They might still get top four, but um, uh, maybe Don was onto something. Look, tired to even leave the building. The cooking was too much. <laughs> man had to bounce on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's had to get himself off screen and that, my guy. I sorted it out. I sorted it out. I sorted Literally, it out. Man, Man United is an embarrassment. Marcus Rashford is dying there. He's he's trying to do too much. He's trying to be Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's not Cristiano Ronaldo. And I can't blame him. He's frustrated. He doesn't believe in any of his teammates. So he thinks, I must score all the goals. I must do all the dribbling. I must do all the passing. I feel sorry for the kid. He needs to get out of there as soon as possible because Man United, it looks like they don't know what they're doing. What the Man United way is, 10 minutes of good play and hopefully we can get a goal there. And then Man United fans will be like, yeah, you saw us for the first 17 minutes, that style of play? No, you had a good 17 minutes. It wasn't the same good 17 minutes you had at a previous game or a previous game. You guys work in patches. There's no... Pro, there's no style of play at Man United. Them, them brothers starving. Them, them, them brothers starving. You know what I mean? They play, they play, they play well for a little bit, and they hold on to that, and then Cass starts doing hopium. You know what I'm saying? So That's it. you know how United goes, man. This is what they were doing last season as well. Do you get what I'm saying? But Kunle, I'll let you land. I'll let you land, bro. No, 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 bro. I, I, I tag the next man in, man. Ty's taking that in for a bit. Digest it. Then the next man comes. Listen, Kaz. Kaz already. Listen, listen. I'm just gonna let you know into a little secret. The minute. Brighton, the minute they lost to Brighton, you know the first thing Cass says? I love this guy. You know the first thing he says? Oh, watch how to smash ba- Watch how smash Bayern now. Watch. Watch how smash Bayern. I'm like, bro, <laughs> don't you learn. Don't you learn, bro. Don't you learn. But it, it was amazing to watch. Watching it with Cass, it, it was a thing of beauty. And, and Daps, if you're watching this, I think I'm the good luck omen. Maybe I need to come to yours more and watch United. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. Yeah, that's Listen, the guy's coming at the right time. Maybe I need to come more and watch United with Kaz because I'm the good luck omen, man. I think I think I'm there. When when I'm there, they'll lose. But it was <laughs> man's beautiful. Come, man's come with the shades. Man's come with the juice bro. as well. This guy was juicing bro, off nah, yesterday. Nah, bro. My eyes, bro. <laughs> the eyes, the eyes, mad, yeah. Bro. You good over there, bro? <laughs> hey, bro just hear his voice. He knows where his eyes are at, man. Big up, that's man. Um, oh. But you, yeah, you're welcome to come and watch the United game, but you ain't coming to watch no Liverpool game at this year. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep winning this well. <laughs> but yeah, no, yes, yesterday's game, it's, it's just beautiful. No identity. Ten Hawk for me, his his in-game substitutions, I kind of understand the Hoyland. At first, I was saying to Kaz, I don't understand that. Why is Hoyland coming, coming off for... Carry on, carry on, Roms. Why, why is Hoyland coming off for, um, for Martial and Adip? I think they're slowly building up fitness. Um, yeah. I think he, he played a few minutes for for um Denmark, but he didn't play the full night. So they're gradually trying to build up his fitness. But 
you saw the boos that were that were on Reverend around Old Trafford, but for the one that I didn't necessarily get was the Casemiro for for Hannibal. Yes, Hannibal scored, but in hindsight, that didn't that didn't really make sense to me. And I know you could say Casemiro was getting overrun, but so was so was the other two. But that Hannibal one, it didn't make sense to me at all. I think Ten Hag didn't really even know what he was doing. One thing I will say about the Hannibal thing, people getting onto him, come on, it, it is his first goal at Old Trafford. I know it was in a loss, but you can understand that. I saw on Twitter, bare people getting onto him. Like, How's he yeah, celebrating like yeah. that? But it's it's in the moment, isn't it? It's impulsive. Then he got back down to reality that, like, oh, we're losing the game. <laughs> you see, you see Bruno saying to him, come, bruv, come, fun your goal, fun your first goal. Bruno was like, come, bruv, we need, need to get back into the game. But yeah, it was, it was a beauty to watch. And Brighton, like we said, and like we were saying in the um, soccer brunch tie, I said they'll dominate possession. Did I think mm. they would win? I'm not going to be shameless. No, I thought it would be a draw. But they just battered you pillar to You know push. what, yeah? Do you know what annoyed me? It's the way, yeah? And we started the first 20 minutes. We were better than them the first 20 minutes, but we always seem to do that against teams anyway. 20 minutes is nothing. This is a 90-minute game, yeah? And you want to be dominating for at least 70 and let the other team dominate for maybe 20. We're at home, 31 unbeaten. And you know what the funny thing is, Roms? Who was our last home defeat? Brighton! Uh, there yeah. you go. Bro. Bro. Yeah, last year, Brighton they're first thing season. They're pulling up with different managers <laughs> there. And still do, you know saying, football, yeah, do you know why football? Do you know why football's a beautiful game, Tab? We were saying in the soccer brunch. I was even saying, I think Ten Hag's turning into a fortress. Thirty-one on the bounce. You know, yeah. and it's hard to beat them. Three hours later, they just exactly. get And you know what the maddest thing is, yeah. This is why I got to respect Brighton and their manager and compare it to my manager. Yeah, I, I, I'm still back in Ten Hag, one hundred percent. I'm still, I'm not going to be screaming Ten Hag out and all that. A lot of people turned yesterday, yeah. you know. A lot Bro, more people turned yesterday. Cruise, it's cool. I'll be real. Substitution. I'm still backing him. I'm still backing him. I'm still backing him. Yeah, the booze. The booze when um, Hoyland got subbed off, I ain't heard that since he took over the job. Real talk. Even Biz, Biz is watching United. He, he's an encyclopedia, one of my brethren from the 80s upwards. Like, he knows his shit, right? And he was like, Ty, yeah, like, that up, made Biz. my body... Yeah, big up Biz. He's like, Ty, that made my body go funny. And he's like, I'm not saying I'm not United through and through, but I'm talking like United. Like He knows everything, yeah? And he was like, Ty, my body felt funny from them booze. And I was even like, raw because we haven't heard that for a long time. The performance for 20 minutes... We was good for 20 minutes, didn't score. And you know what happens when you don't score? The other team going to get one chance or something and they're going to score and then they go on. We didn't, you know what I didn't like about it? It's the whole mentality thing. And someone said about our mentality a few weeks ago when I was on here on Rivals is that like we go one nil down against Brighton after dominating for 20 minutes. But then we go back in our shells and we don't know how to respond. We don't really know what to do to come back into the game. Man United, you lot have grown up knowing us to score three or four goals. When another team scores two at Old Trafford, we're going to score three. Right now, I don't know how we're going to score one. Look yeah, at Don. Ty, 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 come on, bro. Let's be real. It's been like this at Old Trafford for a minute, bro. Bro, what do you mean? Yeah. We've been unbeaten in 31. Yeah, no, no but in the way you oh, play. Bro, bro, Ty, oh. Ty, I, Ty, I know you're Mr. Positive with Man United, yeah? And you're right. You've been going, you've been going unbeatable. I'm sorry. You've had a great run at Old Trafford where you haven't been losing games. But if yeah, you're doing this, is Man United. Bro, like, mm. This is Manchester United. This is, I've been saying it to you for years now, probably five years. Yeah. Stop settling for mediocrity. You were going to dare, you know, bro, your club is washed. Like your club is absolutely in the mud. Like even then, when I was hearing you talk about it and you're saying, you know, hey, Don, don't what, laugh. Don't you know ask me laughing. Don't, don't you know laugh. what, what you're saying? Enjoy today, bro. I'm going to tuck in. I'm going to tuck yeah, in. I'm don't Ty, what yeah. when you were saying, um, like, yeah. what what pissed me off is that, like, you were trying to put positives on this. Sometimes you have to just go back to where we are, right? Like the other night, Mo was trying to put a positive on potentially getting El Ghazi, and I had to stop and say, "Bro, <laughs> Manchester United, fo- <laughs> Manchester United Football Club, Johnny Evans, Regulon, El Ghazi, right?" And even now, when you're trying to say, you know, we start the game off well. First 20. No, fuck that, bro. You are Manchester United, yeah? You are out of Trafford. This is Brighton. No disrespect to Brighton, but you are Manchester United. This is Old Trafford, yeah? I, I need glasses daps every week now, bro. Glasses daps. I need like, them, bro. The hmm. funny thing, the bad thing is, yesterday, like, this thing, we, there used to be this, we've always sung it, like, from probably before I was born, we never felt more like singing the blues, City win, 
United lose, oh see. You got me singing the blues. But the truth is, we sing this regular now. Like, this is a regular thing, City win, United mm. lose. It never used to be that. Your club is just... And, yeah, it's bro, a mess. It's a mess. Bro, bro, and the mad thing is, this is how you are in a mess now, yeah? That if, if you do switch on Ten Hag, yeah? That tells me how fucked your club is. Right? Yeah, bro. We're turning yeah. into these, man. They'll be turning to these, man. Do you know what I, I mean? hate Thanks. to say it. I hate hey, to say it. It's but... like both Chelsea and Manchester. But, no, but, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. But let's be real. When Chelsea were doing this, get rid of the manager, get a new one, get rid of the manager, get a new one. We're winning things. We're winning shit. True, 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 true. Now, now United are potentially going to chase what Chelsea were doing, but without winning shit. Without like, winning. Right, yeah, did. Like, I agree with you, Dabs. We can't because that Adam Matic, funny enough, Adam Matic even said, yeah, Adam Matic was at the game, yeah, and he even said after, he said, like, that's the first time he's felt like a few fans are starting to turn a bit on Ten Hag. And the biggest thing they say at a football club is once you start losing the fans, like, that's when it's always in trouble because it's hard to get them back. They're basically just nitpicking anything you do wrong to kind of build their argument of why they don't want you at the club anymore. And, like, obviously, I'm still back in Ten Hag. I feel like, obviously, you should still say things. And I should because... He, he has but, to, do you know what's, But you know he what's still has to, it? he has to have the bollocks to do his thing as well. Because, for example, nah, like Rashford and Bruno, they, I'm not trying to pin out Rashford and Bruno, but for example, if they're playing bad, still take them off. Don't just leave them on because it's Rashford and Bruno. Just have a balanced thing across the, uh, the board. But, but leave yourself. Do you know what he needs to do? What happens to you? Right, everyone's coming for me. Come, 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 come. Bro, you know what he needs to do? Pause, 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 pause. Like, <laughs> what, he, what he really needs to do right now for me with Ten Hag, yeah, we are running a train on man. Yeah, that's made me laugh so. still. Sorry, come, come, come. come, 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 come. In it, in it. <laughs> I said, we're I running a train on man. What, right now, yeah. what, what Ten Hag needs to do for me at the moment is if you if you look at this, yeah, like he needs to compose himself very quickly, yeah, because at the moment. He does it like a a manager that is starting to get out of his depth. Yeah, the interviews are. Explain explain what you mean by you think he's getting out of his depth, though. Don't I want to hear? No, no, bro. I was trying to. I was about to. He's starting to get. What that's saying. That's what that's saying. Yeah. That's that's what that's saying. Let me watch the interviews, bro. Watch the interviews. Like yesterday in his interview, he started trying to say that Brighton's. Spend a lot of money. It's like, bro, stop fucking talking. No, he did it. He did say that. He did say that. And then, and then, and then the previous, and then the previous game, the previous game, comes out and drops a Sancho stinker. Yeah, these are things that when Ten Hag first arrived at your club last season, his Sky interviews were something that I was watching and going, I rate this manager. He's coming out in interviews and just talking about football. And looking like a, a man that looks composed, knows what he's doing. Right now, he's coming out and having howlers in interviews. Yeah, that is where the media, they're hyenas, bro. They've seen it. With you. We've seen it in the last two weeks with your club. Blood. They'll jump it's on it. Blood. Blood. Yeah. And now, and with Klopp, when Klopp was having their meltdowns, the press are like, oh, we're going to keep pressing yeah. this guy. Yeah. yeah. Now I they're on you. Ten Hag, bro. They're going to keep pressing him. Mm. He needs to take time out. Pose himself, or no, we this can't. Is just gonna We've got start Bayern stuff. on Wednesday. This is the thing. We've got Bayern on Wednesday, yeah. and, and I'm going to buy it. I said to Roman okay. as well on the Saturday show when when Daps had just left. Yeah, that I thought we would win our next five Premier League games, and I was like, "Yo, this is the time we can go on a run, beat Brighton." Because let's be real, you man, this Brighton team, I got to give them more respect. They didn't even have six of their starters in the start. Six changes, 11. bro. Six, six well, changes. That, that shows you, and that shows and, you. And, 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 the and, that's exactly, and that's exactly why Ten Hag was asked that question, but he deflected it yeah. and started talking about team spending money. No, he was no, asked that question. Coach, he was, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, he was asked that question to basically, you know, magnify the fact that it was the second fiddle team that came in, and he was, he still got moved to, and he started talking yep. about well, everyone spends money and this, this, that, but no, it's not about that. Why can Coaching. you know the second fiddle team come in and know what they're doing? But your first team that you're picking out, which is a meaty lineup, by the way, I've spoken to you about his lineups before and his in-game mm. management, even going back to last season when I would go on about it. But United fans would get carried away because Rashford would bail them out or they'll do something dodgy, some voodoo at Old Trafford, like always. You know what I'm saying? They won a trophy, they'll get in gas. I told you, you know, last time my boy Lopes was saying teams fear us. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. 
I could not believe what I was hearing, bro. So, <laughs> this, this is that, this is that's the issue, though, bro. You're right. Forty it's months in, over, and like it's we don't play a over. proper style of football. Like at the end of the day, like Time. you said, big changes, and they've come in, and Brighton have done their thing. But that's I'm going to say now, I'm going to say on here. I'll let you land. Sorry, I'll quickly say this. Like that says that like, we need to. To compose ourselves and Ten Hag needs to calm down. We've got Bayern, yeah, right. Oh, let's all just yeah. say, let's all say on paper, Bayern win, yeah. That's cool. Bayern win away, Bayern win at Bayern. But after that, yeah, we've got Burnley, Sheffield United, Crystal Palace, and Brentford at home, yeah. Some of them, a couple Burnley's of them away. That's a derby, no? That's a derby, but, no? Bro, company. Eight if o'clock you lose that game, eight oh, company, 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 we need to win on the assignment. Company knows the assignment. Is that away? Is that away? Is that away? Is that away? That's away. Eight PM, and you know what can happen. It's a derby as well, that. That's a derby Bro, as well. We have to win our next four league games. I'm telling you now, if, if there's no ifs, no, but, no buts, no maybe, no, we have wait, to get more from pro. Let's let's bring it back to yesterday, because how is Scotty too hot? He's still starting in the middle. Going to get have a seat. We'll how? Well. Why? Why we drop? Why we drop? You're, you're playing against Matoma, but you decided to play. Um, Dalo rather than Wan Bissaka, even though Matoma didn't. Wan Bissaka was ill, apparently. Was, was, he was ill, apparently. Was oh, okay, okay. Girl. Yeah, yeah, that's that. why he didn't play. But, that's why he didn't play. But Man U fans have been screaming Starboy, Palestrian, Ganacho for the, like, the last 12 months, but neither of them can get a start. Like, what, what's going on? What's, what's, that's is, the manager, is, is man. This, this is what I'm saying. And that's why I'm saying I'm talking about the manager here yeah, right now. It, 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 same Similar sort of problems of what Poch is doing right now. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, the self sabotage is clear to see. Do you get what I'm saying? You can't be playing Bruno on the right when you know he's not as effective as someone who can actually play as a winger on the right. I don't understand why he doesn't seem to trust Pelestri. Um, I've been told that this guy plays for Uruguay. He gets called up for them. Do you know what I'm saying? When I've seen him come off the bench, he looks, you know, interesting. He looks like someone you can, you can work interesting. with. You know what I'm Do I want interested at my football but, club, but, though? But no, don't you that's that's in. no, 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 no. But what I'm saying, when I say, when I say, when I say interesting, it's actually something you can work with on the wing. Do you get know what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying Pelestri is Man United level. But what mm. I do know is that Bruno's not a right winger. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So yeah, needs must right now. Needs must right now. Anthony's not there. Sancho's not there. So you can't run away from the situation. You've got to deal with what you've got in front of you. And right now, yep. Pelestri is a right wing option. He's choosing not yep. to do it. That's He's it. bringing that Scott is back it. into the team. You know, the Scott, the Scott, the what you, the guy you tried to go get rid with of. Diamond yesterday, like try go over Diamond that he's never done at United. Never. You know, mixing and matching and. You know, so like I said, man, listen, these then cracks, again, though, I've, then I've again, if, them, if, if, we'd won, if we'd season. won, you man rotate. Arsenal been doing the experimenting, and everyone's been getting onto Arsenal the first three, four weeks. If Man United one with a diamond yesterday, people would have said Ten Hag, master stroke, diamond. Yeah, obviously, that's, the, uh, that's yeah, but no, 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 but no, 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 it's not necessarily. Bro. Not if necessarily Ganacho didn't though, because... run too early, you, you might have won a two one at Arsenal. You, bro, there's so many you, margins this, in this tight, game. Tight, tight. Not, not, you know, no, no, no. Tight, you know, don't get drawn. Don't get drawn into that because it's not as simple as that, in it. Let's break down every single game you've had this season. Yeah, Wolves. That game you should have lost. That game. Yeah, lost. you ended up winning that game. Yeah, you mm -hmm. had uh, Spurs. You got moved to. By the way, Casemiro was just getting bopped about the pitch. You got you don't got moved to that game. Yeah, Forest. Mm -hmm. Arguably, you should have lost that game as well. You played a little bit better, but to go two goals down against Forest at home. I know Chelsea lost against Forest. Not good enough. About, That's any other team. You probably lose that game. Yeah, yeah if, if it's another team, you lose that game. Do you get what I'm trying to mm -hmm. say? And then yesterday, again at home, bro, you got popped by Brighton's second fiddle team. So I don't think it's just, oh, if Ten Hag won that game, it would have been a masterclass. Let's look at the performance as a whole and break no, it down. because been crap this season. You've been crap. You've been crap. And again, right now, Rashford, I, I don't know if it's the, the 300k a week that he's been getting. You know, in pre-season, I was saying the exact same thing. You know, this guy's been, you know, he wasn't good in pre-season. People kept telling me it's only pre-season, it doesn't matter. But, bro, these are things you've got to take out of, 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 of pre-season, especially with a senior player. Do you know what I'm saying? Yesterday, he's not, he's, not beat, he's, not, he's not pressing his players. He's not telling the team as a leader, as someone that's come through the system, come on, let's press together. He's, you know, jogging around the, 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 the pitch, being very selfish. Mm. Bro, it's a mess mm. at Man United right now. It's a yeah. mess. And you know, like, you know, I have to be real. The quality, that, the quality of... The, the quality the quality of players that you lot have come have coming in yeah Maguire you know you got Evans it just says it all man you know Arsenal the other yeah. week brought, they brought on Jesus and um who was the other guy you brought on couldn't they when you made your subs Jesus and um uh, who was it Nelson right? Nelson Vieira yeah, yeah Vieira. Nelson Vieira and then Man United had to bring on Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans and people were surprised what I'm saying I think I still think Chelsea will finish above Man United. And no, no, I, I hear you. We're gonna finish. Do you know what? Yeah, I, I let couldn't oh, come in as well, but I, I have to actually say yeah, I probably look at us right now this season. And I think we've regressed. You have. 
Yesterday's a, a point where as as football clubs again, I'm just gonna go back to it, yeah. You know my opinion is that as a football club, you can only go forward really and truly, yeah. You can only really progress when your club is run well. Yeah. Right. And the here's a great example with Brighton. Brighton have had one manager, got he's gone, bought in another one, he's got better. They've had players, they sell them, they're bringing new players better ones, right? Scouting teams have even left them. New scouting teams come in, they're better, right? Everything about Brighton, and Mo said it spot on yesterday, six changes. Yep. To Derby, a better manager than Potter. Yeah, he's coached. Yeah. As a system. And the six players. Yep. Just go in the they system. come in, they know what they're doing. Well. And they they, doing. Brighton are an absolute well-oiled machine. And this is where, remember when we had a, we had a show the other week? And uh, we were talking about Deservey, and you were saying that you know he think, think he's going to City. You, well, you you were saying that he think yeah. you think if Klopp was to go, Liverpool might go in for him. This is why I'm saying right now, I I want him at City if Pep does go, and yeah, we have to make sure that he is aware of that as well, yeah, because I believe if if Deserby knows City might be on the table because of how Brighton is run. He'll, he'll say to anyone... Yeah, because you're basically run the same. The communication is clear from top to bottom. And, yeah. and your, your club at the moment, bro, like, I think you sh- I think Ten Hag is the right person, but there's so much going wrong at your club. Listen, I, I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, Liverpool, FSG, I've, I said all summer that I felt FSG were like, potentially, them and Liverpool were really going to come to heads. You know what? Now, nah, forget this. Glazers, bro... Glazers hey, stay in ten more years. The 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 He's come in there, you know, he's had big problems to deal with, like Ronaldo. Obviously, now he's got the whole Jaden Sancho situation. He's dealt with things off the pitch quite well, isn't it? And he? And li- he brought a little bit of structure to the team last season. That I can give him, yeah? But we can't we can't just keep ignoring these basic errors that he keeps making. Do you know what I'm saying? Why are you bringing on Ganacho with, like, 10 minutes to go? Again, it goes back to a similar thing with Poch. Bringing on Modric, Modric with, like, 10 minutes to go. What do you expect him to do? Wingers need to get warm, bro. Give them at least half an hour on the pitch, 25 minutes. Bring him on a little bit earlier. It's like when he sees that something's gone Wait, wrong. Don, I he's think made, Pelesh did made... come on. Pelesh no, no, came no, on with uh, half an Ganacho, hour to go now. Bro, Ganacho, Ganacho came on with like... What? Nah, came on yeah, with yeah. Oh, sorry, I got confused because I was even saying to Cam... Man, what, Hannibal and Martial. He looked a bit, and Martial. Looked yeah, a bit, Hannibal, looked a bit similar. He brought on, he brought on yeah. Ganacho with like 10 minutes to go. So it's okay, like okay, with him yeah. with him right now, it's kind of like he's got a handbrake on and he's he he doesn't rectify his mistakes. I don't know whether he doesn't know how to do it or he doesn't trust the players that he's got. But he does. He needs to trust them because he's working with what he's working with. And, and if he doesn't, think, bro, it's only going to get worse. It is only going to get worse. About, he's yeah, but, on about oh, the trust thing in particular man. because quick, quickly, I just quickly because yeah. I was and man, you fans are getting on me. They thought it was tro- when I whenever I criticize, people think I'm just trolling. And when I call, when I said the man you thing is looking like the Tottenham thing, people didn't get me. And this is what I meant by that: is the way Ten Hag was getting wins last season. It was not sustainable. He had to somehow find a way to implement his style with players, systems, whatever, towards this season. Because the way he did it last season was great. He'd find a way to finish third. But I'm like, you need a style if you're going to continue. Because teams teams are not going to let you off and uh, and, and not going to take their chances. Once teams cool, this, is, this, was in the season, against... this was in the season when we fell off, when Liverpool fell off. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, so, mm. and, and, and at the end of the day... We, we warned you lot about this, but you're like, Ten Hag in the wheel, he's going to have another transfer window behind him, or this, that, whatever. Third place, not, we won a trophy, like, all this yeah. stuff. All this yeah, stuff. I see, I see people in, the, in, in the comment section telling me that... Has admitted yesterday, we're finishing second, by the way. 
Just to let you know, Kaz yeah. I got in the comment section, said, yeah, was, was, did a new manager bounce just last the season and now we're seeing the real Ten Hag? That's what people are asking. I'm not saying this is bad. This, as this, that. Is, what, this is what happens. You've got uh, managers, managers have got to earn their money and earn their worth as well by getting us out of these holes. I don't want everything to be smooth sailing. Of course, it would be nice if everything was, but he's got to prove himself to get out of it. One second, let me get through these super chats and likes as well. Uh, Top Gooner says, the United is still the biggest club in England. Well, in My answer to that, Top Gooner, is the way that everyone speaks about of course we are man um but big up for the super chat i appreciate that um hit that hit the like button um i think daps is muted but yeah i'll let him land after i think yeah he's muted he's muted um I'm, yeah sorry who gives a shit you are man united yeah, well, i don't care about that gunner manchester united are the biggest club in england right who gives a flying fuck like honestly yeah. if that's the i'd rather i'd rather be the 50 biggest club and well. win things so, yeah, that's that's how I'd rather be. Bring that fraud Cass in here now. Cass, come out. We know you're watching the stream. I know he's on tonight. Day today. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know he's on uh, 10 o'clock tonight as well, if you want to cook him even more. I know he's getting. I know he was on it last night. I don't know how much he was getting pressed last night, but I know he's on last night as well. And also, I just want to say, people, one second, because Mo sent me a message as well. Um, a Solomon, also, big up yourself, because if you're watching right now, for the membership gifts that you've given out, Mo just gave me the heads up as well, because I hadn't seen that this morning when I'd woke up. So thank you, A Solomon, for the membership gifts and everything as well. Showing love for the love. And guys, if you do want to become a member as well, it's down below in the description, gold and silver membership. And also we do a thing now where panellists can come on with us and debate whatever they like. We don't, we don't make it scripted or anything. Honestly, if you come on these shows, ask the guys. It's just vibes, speak your mind. Whatever you want to get off your chest is a good time to do it. And obviously we give you that opportunity. So if you're one of the members as well, make sure you check out your inboxes and stuff like that because we do that every Sunday or most Sundays, I'll say we'll be doing that throughout the season. Um, listen, but, I want to, I want to, I want to, yeah. listen, I want to hear what Specs has got to say, Specs, because this is yeah. the team that took a trophy away from your club, bro. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I want to hear what you've got to say, bro. Yeah, well, but thanks, bro. I appreciate it. I know we coming on here as per usual. What I'm yeah, saying, bro, I'm... Yeah, first of all, Man United is terminal, bro, at this moment in time. So, when, so even though some people say, <laughs> look at Cass, even though some people say, <laughs> yeah, he's showing his face, yeah, he's a joker. <laughs> man, man, <really. laughs> yeah, man. So, so um, in terms of when some fans are leaning towards uh, getting hard out or whatever, brother, you could bring in Pep, you could bring in Klopp, you could bring in the Zerbi. As it stands from the top, nothing ain't going to change, bro. I believe um, from the get-go before the season started, <clears throat> you can agree or not agree, I felt going all out for a goalkeeper, that was not your main priority in my eyes. But you've done that now. He's a he's a, actually he's a foot playing baller more than. Bro, most let's of be real. I'm starting to question his stage. I'm starting to question his stage. He's going to fix up our style of play. Huh? That's what yeah, he told but, us. But I'm, I'm saying real with you. Specs, I'll be real with you. I'm, I, as much as he plays football, specs, I'm starting to question yeah. the stage he's making. Well, but, well, I, I, I was saying this long before the season started, but I thought no one ain't hearing me. But bro, Onana, see, uh, you know, it's I never really know. Onana, bro, Onana's reminding me of the guy from Scary Movie. Take my strong yeah. hand. Bro, it's, it's, it's all black. <laughs> no, you know what? No, Onana's cool, bro. Yeah, Onana's cool. But I'm saying, even like, if you watch Man United, like, like, is he, player, like, is he last season? <laughs> last season. Mm. Your defense or anyone didn't want to pass the ball back to the hair. So yeah. they were moving the ball a bit more faster than they are this season. This season, a lot of the times, they're passing the ball back to Anana, slowing things, slowing things down more. Do you get what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and people, people, people are really talking that. Yeah. And, and it's mad how at home against Brighton, usually most teams, if you're at home, if you go 1 0 behind, usually, especially a big boy in Man United and the fans have got your back, usually, Man United step it up and they'll be the team controlling and trying to go, brother, you look at one nil behind and it was Brighton that was taking even more control of the game, bro. And I thought, rah. So, You're spot on um, with that at home. You're spot on at home, Drew. Yeah, like literally, yeah. Like, I was shocked. Like, I was like, mm. but like I said, bro, to cut a long story short, I just think your team is terminal, bro. With everything that's going on from the top. I don't believe in when everyone... I'm not a Man United fan, so I can't speak for you, Ty, or the others. I don't believe everything's all on... Get the gate on the Glazers, because I swear to the hog has been over, boys. You're 500 million? Am I correct or am I incorrect? Yeah, well, he's got 10 plays and five of them have been loans and frees and five of them have been signings. All right. So, so he's... he's playing for 10 hard, bro. Yeah. They proved it so, yesterday. They all right. So Glazers have done... Okay. 
Billy, look, Billy is messed about the, the players, the fans, in terms of, and I said it from when the, when this new sports came out about they're going to sell, I couldn't believe why I kept on seeing so much energy in the media about, bro, Blazers ain't selling shit, bro. Sorry for my language on a Sunday. They're not <laughs> selling, bro. They're not going nowhere. And especially that you qualified for the Champions League, they definitely ain't going nowhere. So mm. I think your club is terminal. You're never going to get to that high echelons or reach to Man City level while they're there. I don't blame it all on Ten Hag. I think he's a bit off this season in terms of... Do you know why I do come back to his specs, though? And I'm yeah. going to be real. I, I love Ten yeah. Hag, and Daps even knows, yeah, from way back mm. before his link to him, I said, Daps, I want a guy called Ten Hag from Ajax, right? Yeah, he's coming 14 months in, like you lot have been saying about De Zerbi and dropping players and you've got a style of play. Ten Hag still should have these guys playing a proper style of play. Since he's come in, yeah, we've won the Carabao Cup. We finished third in the league, which is kind of not, a, I don't want to say a false third, but you know what the league was like. Liverpool and Chelsea weren't delivering and stuff like that. But still, if I said to you lot, yeah, and this is me being real, tell me when you're picking a game, yeah, where Man United have played very well for like 70 or 80 minutes. You guys couldn't give me one because Man United play well in like for like 10 minute spells and then a 10 or 15 minute spell in the second half. We actually Ty, do you know the only game I would say? You know the, do you know the last game I would say you actually spell, played no, Tottenham at home maybe? And us, us at Old Trafford. Now you're going back a year ago. That's the oh, last yeah. game. I and can't that remember you. Like, that's, because well of of that's because of energy and having to win. And he brought in Malasia. He brought in um, Sancho. He made changes that game. Mm. We lost our first two to Brighton and Brentford. But when you think about it, the only way I would get onto Ten Hag is that really, like, I want to just go into the game next week against Burnley. I want to go into Bayern on Wednesday and just say, do you know what? I know what I'm going to see. And that's my question with Ten Hag this season. Are you going to be able to coach these players that you're going to be able to get results? Or is it just going to be one you of them? You do know what you're going in to see. You're going in to see an absolute <laughs> shit show. That's what you're going in to see. Oh, but, yeah, but, but that, that's not brother, good enough. That's not good enough for our coach. Yeah. Yeah. Time, good enough. Time. All yesterday's results said to me, this is if, you, if we were to describe yesterday's result as one word, it would just be called disrespect. Let me break it down real quick. Give me 30 seconds. That boy Welbs, you know, came back to Old Trafford, celebrating and everything like, yo, oh, time spin, scored against us, spin bro. a knee. And then how can if you if you slow, if you do slow motion of the second goal, how can, how can Gross whisper in Lucha's ear like eat grass? And then he dropped to the ground at grass and scored the second goal. Brother, what's going on here, bro? What's going on? Like, Man United are a joke. An absolute joke. People don't what? respect Old Trafford no oh, more. So let me that get. So let me get. Let me get receipts of you lot now. Then that that, that thirty-one <laughs> game I'm beating round was was inflated, bro. If teams took their chances in those games, you could have lost way more of those games. But you oh, what did you life. say earlier? You what is Man United? You, you said about it's earlier. You said about it's earlier. If no, was no, only no, on no, if no, no, I'm giving you. I'm giving you your credit. You rolled your luck, but you didn't eventually create a style of play that was sustainable, and that's why we're here right now. People are going to keep coming to that stadium looking to get a win because you lot are there for the taking. Okay, it me okay, of that let me let me flip it. I'm not going to try and flip it, but I mean, let me ask you a lot of questions now. While we're in turmoil and we're terminal and this and that, do you, man? We've done predictions before, and a lot of you lot had top four Man United in it. I know me and Daps both had Man United in our top four predictions. I'm not going to ask Daps till last, but right now, from you, Roms, do you have Man United finishing in the top four this season? Right now, like on the spot, do you we finish in the top four? Can we turn things around? No. No, I have you just outside. I don't have you in the top four anymore. <clears throat> is that because of right? Okay, if you change no, that, because I, I, of I, I said this. I said this from the beginning, because though. And people, people in the comments are even saying to me like, "Go on, go on, Rums, go on, Rums, go on, Rums." One minute, because the thing is, you know, a lot of people are turning Ten Hag out now, but I feel everyone will turn if the Kobe Mine knows the Amrabats come back and results still persist like this. I'm not saying that will 100% happen, but if them two come back and the results stay the same, that's when I think everyone, I think I think yourself, I think Kaz, that's when I think, that's when I think everyone, one minute, one minute, Kunle, one minute, Kunle, that's when I think, one minute, one minute, one minute, that's when I think everyone will turn, because right now, uh, Majority of the United fan base will be saying right now, Kale, whether you like no it or Varane, not. No, man, no, yeah, no, no, Varane, no, he's not had his players yet. I didn't, personally, I disagree with that, but they will say his the signings he's made, especially in Amrabat, because we saw yesterday Bruno was playing centre back. They were crying out for someone to collect off the back four and play to the four down. But I think once they come back in, if these results stay the same, I think everyone will turn. All of them, every single United fan. But I think until they come back, 
I think he'll still get a lot that will still continue to back him because they want to see that player that can collect from the back four and, and but translate. Ron, it's, but... it's, it's, it's a collective. It's a collective of 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 the Glazers. You know the the personnel that they've got, the in game mm. management, the lineups. You know, if I ask Ty, Ty, are you excited that Mason's coming back? Yeah, <laughs> that's no, it. I, mean, I, I will be <laughs> for my new Amrabat and Varane. Okay, nah, that's but... that's fair enough. But with with Amrabat, it, do you think he's going to be enough to get you in that top four? Because you need goals. Him and mine are two midfielders. We need legs uh, in midfield. I'm so, I'm so glad. And, 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 even, top and, even, and even with Maynu, even with Maynu, do you believe that Ten Hag is going to trust him? Because like, like Kunle said, the big thing here is trust. And he, he seems to not be trusting a lot of these players. I know he trusted him in, in, in pre-season. No, but, don't, but then don't, again, don't, then don't, again, wait, hold he was on, loving off. Hold on, on, hold on. I've got, I've got to be skeptical. If you're good enough, if you're good enough, you're good enough. No, 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 no. Hold on, Roms. That's not my point, bro. Come. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that Mainu's not good enough. I believe uh, that Mainu is good enough to play for Man United. Uh, yeah. uh, are you I saying ten hot? No, no. Yeah. I'm saying I'm 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 taking away my cap about Mainu. I'm talking about ten hog Yeah, I'm very skeptical. Yeah, I think about that he man. can. If he yeah. played him in pre season with... and he was building that way, I think he can trust him. But now Amrabat's coming in. I don't know mm. if Mainu is going to start like I thought he was going to be. I think Amrabat with ex- his experience, the the Moroccan side of things, Afcon obviously he's played at a bigger, higher Ryan level. Is so blessed. He's Look at all their depth for the DM. Hey, so blessed. Hey, please, one second, one second. Wait, let's, let's, can we can we get better? Wait, can on, we no, improve? Don't, yes. Don't, don't, you can. Don't you can. You can. You can. No wait. Don set the tone of this stream. He said at the start, when he came out, he said, them brothers are starving. And do you know how I know they're starving? And Rums, I, don't, I think Rums was trolling when he said this. He said, when Mayno, who the fuck is Mayno, bruv? Bro, he's a rapper. Who's no. he's, he's, he's a rapper from New York. He's a, like, that's, a, that's the thing, though. I hear what you're saying, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, the Man United I grew up on was never getting excited about some kid that's played a couple pre-season games. So, but when he gets back, watch. Watch when Kobe gets back. Like, who the hell is that? Yanuzai was the beginning. Yanuzai was the beginning of what? Yanuzai was the beginning of the ten years that was to come. Because they were depending. I'm trying to be objective, Kunle. Man, allow me. I'm trying to be. Wait, wait, wait. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. This is this is this is taking me back to when they were depending on Yanuzai under David Moyes. Yeah, that was what over over ten over ten years ago. You get what I'm trying to say? So Kunle is right. Like as much as I rate Mainu. If you're in a position where you're depending on, oh. on, a, on a young, what, 18-year-old to come back, you know you're in problems, bro. You know you're in problems, innit? That's so... Mayno. That's Mayno. I just think, I just think, I just think that over the overall quality that comes in for for for, for these players, you know, are not are not United level. And and uh, just one last thing as well, Ty. Yeah. Just one, Ty, just, just, Ty, just one last thing as well. Yeah, obviously, um, Hoyland, Hoyland, um, it's been it's been reported that when you you know you guys when you brought building up to ninety minutes, yeah, building up to ninety minutes. But it has been said that he can't apparently can't play more than two games a week. I'm about you detected that back injury in um in in the medical as well. Yeah, you know how back injuries go, bro. Like if you've played football before, yeah, bro, you can't play your game with a back injury. It's very very uncomfortable. You get what I'm trying to say. So uh, mm. even that, even that, if you lose him and Hoyland consistently with a with the same sort of injury, bro, we're in big trouble. You're, you're bringing in guys like a Martial who's cooked. He's he's finished now. Yeah, yeah that's his cousin. I love that. That's his cousin. <laughs> That's you're not bringing in, wait, let me Marshall let me land on you. Let, 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 let me let, let me land you. You're bringing in guys That's like a Marshall. Co- you're having to bring in guys <laughs> like a Scott. That's what I'm yeah. saying. With four with four gate, well, with four competitions, right? And and, and Europe, <laughs> big Europe as well. That's what I'm looking at. Like over that season, bro. I just don't see United finishing finishing in that top four, or even top nah, five. I, I hear you. I hear you. We'll move. And on, you know what? You know what? Is done, then. Well, quick, we quickly, Ty. Just to add on to that, Don as well. I hear you over season because even when January comes, them lot don't have faith in their owners that they're going to reinvest. No, so I agree with that. Yeah. I, yeah. If, what well, I'm saying just, to you, yeah, yeah, I know we're going to move on to. I want to talk on City, and then we're going to go into Sunday's game. Obviously, Newcastle have their little say as well, guys. Make sure you do smash the likes. By the way, there's 900 in the building on a Sunday. Yeah, and Liverpool. Yeah, we've got loads to get through. It could be. It could be. It could be another hour. I can't. Lie. could be another hour I but guys be. i'm going back to bed though yeah that's nah, blessed up yeah no nah, no nah, nah, that's blessed we've got to do the docu thing as well man but guys make sure you do run up the likes 900 obviously i'm getting cooked on the stove right now but obviously we're going to try and be cooking back but all i'll say is four weeks Just trying to be cooking games. that bro come on <laughs> we've got four games to turn this shit around we have to win our next four and then if we don't i'm going to be coming in here and i'm going to be having uncomfortable conversations oh, there, bro, there's all there's there's traps there's to have a conversation with you traps i was with traps yesterday yeah. who is traps bro, bro, yeah. bro, what was he saying what was he saying i've been looking him? for him bro i've lo- uh, been back missing since our last stream asking him. Him. Uh, bro, looking for you traps he's 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 done with you he's done 
He's done. No, he's not. He's done with United. Oh, he's United. Done with United. Yeah, yeah. That's that's he's <laughs> done with United. Like he's like. You know what, Dad? It's so funny, mate. Right? Listen, I don't know who Chaps is. I'm big on Chaps. No, Chaps, Chaps is cool, no, though. He's on mission. Biz and um, Biz and Chaps kind of remind me the same people. To be fair, and Biz for the first time in my life yesterday said. Tie. I'm done with United. I'm not even going to go to a yeah, whole yeah. game this whole season. And that's what it is, top to bottom. And if that energy is coming from fans that have like fully invested and seen it back from the 80s and 90s, who are a bit older than me, Ty. that shows that things are really in a can bad I... place right now. And Ten Hag's fighting the pitch, the players, and, and the officials. Can I just say something to the United fans yeah, that are watching this that go to games, right? Carry on going to games, put your money into the club. Your team needs you. Carry on supporting them. That's all I want to say. Listen, 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 just quick, quick, to, quick, quick before we move on. Yeah, Firstly, people, a, a what's going on about fans? Boys, boys, real quick, people, 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 please, um, please get those likes, one get one those one likes one up. Listen to that quickly. Go please, on, please get those likes up. Please, please, please get those likes up. We need those likes to go up, people. So anyone watching this, smash the like button now. Now, last thing, oh, God, what, I did you did, one, what you did yesterday, uh, Roms, you were here, right? And when I left, and I was just putting my trainers on, getting ready to leave. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> and I instantly heard what happens when Ty and another United fan get round each other. <laughs> yeah, be excited. Yeah, be excited. Hold on. Let me land. Let me land there. Let me land. The echo chamber started, and I'm hearing all this positive. And I had I know to come what you're back. I had to come back in here and say, hold on a second, yeah, with this positive vibe shit, again. yeah. That is exactly what Traps was saying yesterday, yeah. Good. Glad we lost, yeah? There does not need to. And this is the thing, Ty, that I said that if you signed El Ghazi, you would try and put a positive spin on it. You try and see the positive. And this is where Traps is now. This is is where Traps is with Man United. I don't want to see no fucking positives, yeah? Because they're short term and it's, it's bullshit. It's too reactionary. The club needs to fucking fix up massively. All all, all our stuff is on hope. That literally at the moment, yeah, all our yeah, all our positivity yeah. is basically oh, come and, down and the to whole is, That what was that? They staying behind for an hour, right? That was you're, the last protest was. Let's all do a sit down <laughs> after the game for an hour. I'm telling you now, what happened? <laughs> because your fan base is so not all of you, but a lot of you are so fucking dunce. Yeah, that what would have happened in that hour while they were sat there, they would have been like, I'm a bit peckish. Let's go and buy a pasta. Yeah. Let's go and buy a drink. Glazers have looked at the, the profit sheet for that game where you sat in for the extra hour and gone, fuck me, we made more money. But, Facts. Like, yeah, probably, yeah. Keep You're going to them right. games, man. That's no, the spend that money. And buy them pies. The buy them. Words. Words. Buy them. Buy yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Are we, are we at the stage where we start questioning Ten Hag's talent ID as well? Is that Are we there yet? No, 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 no. Yet? And I'm going to come back to I've got to do the Super I'm Chats, Kanye. We've got to move on. I'm going to answer that quickly and just say, the reason I say no is that we've made 10 signings, by the way, since Ten Hag's come in. Five, and yes, I get it. You're going to probably say, well, he picks the loans and blah, blah, blah. But five have been loans and free transfers. Five have been signed. The guys he signed are fucking Casemiro, obviously, Anthony, Anana, Lissandro and Hoyland. I'm not really, and Malassi actually, just says six. I'm not really against loads of them. Do you get me? Casemiro. Right, I'm them six. Which one is really nice? Which one are you happy about? Anthony, Anthony, like? Anthony, Anthony, Anthony's the one I'm not for. And Malassia, he was 12 million in the squad. Ty, I just need what you said. Million. That's worrying. Out of the six players you just mentioned, only one has banged. And even that was only really well, for half the season. season. Sanjo's been good. Casemiro don't act like he has it. Yes, he has bad. That's, that's he has, he has, he has been crap this season, good. though. He's been crap. And Hoyland. Season. Hoyland's a new one. Now even last season, he's very hot and cold. Hot and cold, yeah. Martinez wasn't cold all throughout the season consistently. He was hot and cold. You know what I mean? Let me let me land on this though. For a first season coming into a Premier League team, yeah. Yes, he was like our big centre back signing, but some other teams give grace that they can, you know, do their thing in the second and first season. So for a first season, Rums, when you do it collectively, not Man United, football big in general, United, when, big, when players come to the Premier fair, League, fair, fair, fair. Because I have that energy, I have that energy with Nunes in that. So you know yeah, what? You're right. You're right. You're right. No, you're That's right. right. But, but this is this is a problem. You are right. But that is right. right. That's is right in terms of people overhyping it like team of the year and exactly. all that stuff. And that's yeah. the yeah. thing I'm seeing. That's what I meant. Team like... of the year, and that's what happens. That all these things that like I'll be real. Varane, since he's arrived at your club, has he came in as Champions League Varane? 
My man, don't. He's been so good, but he's been so good. 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 He's been so I know, I know, I know, I see. I, 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 got, I got told earlier. I got told earlier. Let me do the super chats quickly. Big up, guys. Big up, guys. Booming show. 900 of you. Make sure you get the likes in. Top Guna says, smash, United smash, is smash. a dump club. Reg relegate yourselves, you piece of SHIT. Wow. Big up, Top Guna. That ain't going to happen, though. Um, United, get the F out of the Premier League. Um, Unfortunately, when, maybe when you win more Premier League. It's not League, the way football happen. works, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's how football works, unfortunately. They said Mino was better than Rice. Not forgotten. I'm not going to lie. He did um, bad up Rice that game. But anyway, that was pre-season, so I'm not going to get excited on that. No, I'm you big just did there. No, Ty, that's what you do. You just did it there. You literally go, well, he did bad him <laughs> up, but I'm not going to pick him up. You're I'm just responding to the comment. It. I'm just responding to yeah, the comment. I know. And what I'm showing is your response to the comment is showing where you are, that you're trying to put a positive. Bro, Mino is not better in any sort no, of way. No, better than Rice. Who's Mino? that? Who's Mano? Who is he? <laughs> Kobe Mano. Big up Elisa, obviously one of the members as well, gold member as well. Love that, Elisa. Hope you're good, bro. He says, this Man United reminds me of Arsenal in 2020. Arteta won a cup that bought him time. He had to let go then of many players, even for free, before he actually put together his squad. That's a that's a fair point. I hear the logic of what you're saying. I don't know if that's going to be the same, though. But um, no, no. But I, I see what I see what his logic is on it. But let, like, guys, we're going to move on. Guys, get your super chats in if you want them getting read as well. We don't um, have to move minutes. on. I'll be honest, though. Nah, nah, nah. We've got to. Every, I'm, I'm sure everyone's got a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, we need to, to move on, but we need to talk yeah. about more as well. I'll but, um, come around in. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna credit myself and I'll try and get myself positive. I told Daps and I told Mo. Daps took it in a good way. Mo was cooking me. I said Doku will be a good player for Man City. He will give them an outlook. He's dribbling his speed. He's going to be yeah, a different cold. profile to help City mm. win games. Two games in, he was shy the first game. Second game, he said, yo, let he me bust out my He wasn't shy the first game, you know. He even said it in an interview. He, he, said, he, he, admitted to it. he said it himself. Yeah. He said it himself. No, he goes, you know yo. What? Yeah. But bro, you know he let down his thing, yeah. and, he, and he showed yeah. his team. Started in the good dance scenes. He get me like, he's relaxing now. Doku's here. I'm doing oh, that. Did you see, sorry, did you see Harlem when he scored tried to do the dance and just fell over? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's at least one thing Harlem that. doesn't have, and that's rhythm, man. He can score. Bro, uh, I, I know we've got to do Chelsea and Liverpool, yeah? Liverpool yeah? too, but Doc is done his thing. Yeah, yeah. Off, yeah just. just... I, 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 oh, I'm sorry. I was no, really on, excited go on, go on, go on. about Doc Doku because of what I've seen prior to the to, to him coming to see, but I was I got scared about Doku even more after his first interview for City. If you if you go back and watch the, the interview after his first game, he said the stuff stuff he said. He said, "I wasn't re there wasn't a lot of space for me in the game, so rather than just keep waiting for the space, I thought I'd, I'd run for the team. I'd, I'd fight. I'd create open spaces for my teammates. Like when you have a winger that's fast, strong, and is ready to work for the team, it's long, bro. It's long because yeah. and, and then put him under Pep Guardiola." And he's techie as well with, with the footwork. It's long for everyone. Doku's going to be sensational. You, you know what, yeah? So, obviously, through the summer, Doku, Nunes and whatever, yeah. I say on all these players, because I, I watch City, I'm a City fan. That's I don't claim to be anything but a City fan. I watch City. So, with everyone, I have to watch them come and play for City. And ultimately, even if I had watched Doku elsewhere, yeah, that's not in a City system. I have to see any player in the city system because they will look different. The thing I'd say about what what Doku brings it like straight away it is it is Leroy Sane vibes, yeah. That one and, B one. Well, well, what it is is yeah is that when you're a team and a bit like Arsenal at times when you're a team that is so possession based and so it can be frustrating as a fan. Yeah, it's that sometimes. mechanical, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you sometimes have to, as a fan at the game, you, you can sit there and get a bit frustrated going, come on, it's like we're, we're struggling to break this team down. And as a fan base, you need something to lift you and get you excited. Well, first That's half, it. we're like, we we call ourselves Concourse Blues because at half time, if we, we, we're... We usually miss, I, Fulham, I miss three goals because I'm getting a beer and, and having a drink and chatting with everyone, yeah? Most of us didn't see that goal yesterday because we were in the concourse still, yeah? But that is what we needed. Doku came on, came on second half and lifted the whole team. Every time he got the ball... Yeah, bum ones off their Something seat. Yeah, and, and and here's mm. a the, there's one there was one moment where I thought, yeah, you know what, this is where 
it's smart from Pep because I said last summer, new tools to the box, new weapons to try with, yeah? And he tried to move move down the left, right? And same as you've seen it with Grealish so many times when Grealish tries to move down the left and he stops and he passes the ball back for Rodri or Gundogan, it would have been last season, to recycle and switch the ball to the right. And that's what everyone knows. When City when City stop on one side, they'll move the ball back to the middle and then recycle it and start again, right, with a move a different way. Mm-hmm. Now, he did that. He stopped, moved the ball back to the middle. West Ham shifted over, but Doku, the minute he played the ball back to the middle, went, put the burners on down the left. And because West Ham that's not the way City play, had all the space. And and instead of like switching it to the right, Rodri just slowly goes, no, you can have it back there in that space you've got. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is not City. This is City uh, City with Leroy Sane again. And mm. it's just, and, and the finish, the saying, finish was cold. Uh, yeah, bro. And it's worrying when you've got that pace, you've got Haaland. Bernardo mm-hmm. was putting on the burners once or twice. Walker. This, and- this is a perfect example of why people like, they need to, I'm not saying you need to watch other leagues, but if someone watches other leagues and you fit, like you know that they're going to come in and do something for City, mm-hmm. then that's where you've got to take. Because if Doku goes to another team, yes, he's a good player, but it might not actually work at another team because it depends on the styles. But when you look at City in the way they keep the ball, they've always needed an outlet. We know that Foden and Grealish and everyone is technical, but now they've got that pace. Even when they're playing the Liverpool's Chelsea's now, when they're going on the counter, they've got, they're having spells away from home and then they have to hit the teams on the break. Other teams that like couldn't they now know that Doku can get down there. They can get on the wing and do that. But yeah, man, I had to shout out Doku. Obviously, for more yeah, city reaction people. Hold on, hold on. The, last... the thing is, though, yeah, Kai, yeah. Yeah. The, the thing is, though, yeah, West Ham are a serious litmus test, you know. And and Chelsea failed that test the other day. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you're trying to beat guess, a low yeah. block, when you're trying to beat a low block like that, and you've got Ben Chilwell trying to drive at their their fullback, it's not going to work. When you've got a player like Doku who is, you know, very unpredictable, can drive at his man, got that confidence to get in the box and, you know, even link up. I saw him linking up a little bit with Haaland in the area yeah, yeah. as well. You know, that's that's what you need for um for, for games like, like a West Ham. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So and this you know, is what you I'm know saying what's to you. Hold on, yeah. And this, and this is the conversation that me and you had before, Daps, about Doki when I was saying, yeah, that now Pep is maybe trying to go back to the days of a Sterling and a Sane having a little bit of a... Of, of someone that's different. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's got a lot different of wingers that can invert. In box, bro. Yeah, he's yeah, he's got someone now that can actually beat that beat that press, uh, yeah. not press, beat that low block. So, yeah, oh, man, and, he and, looks good. He looks good. And the other thing is that it brings, it brings that uh, competition for places. Like, Grealish has been missing from the team for a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And uh, now he's going to have to fight to get his place back. The, the other thing I'd say about yesterday, listen, you're spot on. I, I purposely told Cass I would be on last night because I was worried about yesterday's game. Yeah, I look at any game like that. West Ham were where they were for a reason. Furthermore, and by the way... Worried, we, yeah, 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 oh, bro, any away game, I, I, bro, I'm... Uh, <laughs> And I'm you know beating. what? Going one nil down to West Ham is even bro, a bit listen, better. Comeback. Listen, and they're that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Last that, yesterday, yeah, I, I was speaking to a few West Ham fans on the way down and whatever. They were they were like, you know what? We feel this is a good time. We got a few injuries. This is a good time to play City for the first time ever because West Ham and City, we we our clubs get on, our fan base get on, right? Yesterday it wasn't like that because like West Ham actually thought, oh no, we're in competition with you now, yeah. Now last season. Arsenal were 2 0 up there, yeah? Second half, 2 0, right? We went 1 0 down, right? At West Ham, when West Ham are in good form, when the fan base are, you know, they're singing champions of Europe and whatever, right? And then, and then this is a difference. Man City come out, second half, and just go, nah. And it's like Pep goes, uh, we, we've been playing in second, third gear, boys. You need to push it up a gear, second half. Like, if we want the three points. And look, we got Forest next week. It's so another three points. Um, yeah. This this season, this season's going to be a complete fucking whitewash. By the way, so yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. agree. I agree. But, but sorry, but but that, but, but, but that, that well, did you expect you anything different? Uh, did you expect anything different from the outcome of West Ham anyway, bro? Did you what, expect anything yeah. different? Yeah. Oh no, bro, bro, I was worried. I was worried. I, I, bro, I was, I was saying, I was saying. Like before the game, I'm not mad at a point. Yeah, West Ham away with the form they're in at the moment, with with also the fact that we, we did have Alvarez, we did Ward have Prowse. Kovacic, yeah. we had Kovacic out, mm. Grealish out, Stones mm-hmm. still not back in. I was like, I wouldn't be mad at a point in this game. Like I, I, I did say, I think we'll get three. I think we'll win three one. Mm. But a point at West Ham with where they are at the moment, because listen, 
they have the tools that are perfect for the way they play, right? Perfect yeah. all fouls. Yeah. I said we can't be when you go one nil down to West Ham, who like to play the low block, like mm. you to have all the possession, it's a long day because it's like, mm. right, we, we're happy sitting back and letting you, and now you have to get a goal. So, mm-hmm. look, but that's that's why we've got Pep Guardiola. You always so. break them. Whoever you play, you will break down, brother. I, I just think, this, I know it's early, but Man City's won the league. Let's just yeah, keep it 100, league, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and, it's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's sad, you know, as a fan to just even oh, say Scott. that. At this time, of course it was well, to you. Nah, it's sad. It's sad. Hey, you lot, hey, you lot. I know we're gonna out. We've got to go on to Chelsea team news. Yeah, 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 yeah. Team news. Yeah, Don, oh, Don, 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 I saw you celebrating <coughs> doing these guys in the background. So something's happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know what it is? I, I was, I was. I was told earlier in it. I was told earlier that Mudrik apparently starting Ben Chilwell has been dropped, um, and I was told that Gallagher, yeah, Ben Chilwell has been dropped as well. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'll wait and see in it for any more leaks. And then it, yeah, it's come out now officially that Mudrik's starting. Gallagher's captain. I, I've looked at the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> When are we going to admit this is a mess, Don? When? When are we going to admit this, bro? Gallagher is your captain today. Come on, bro. Come on. Work with me here, bro. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even look at you, man, because bro. I can't even look at you, man, because I feel itchy. Like, my body's itching, like, even the thought of him being captain. Do you know what I'm saying? But, listen, wow. Gallagher's He's proper Chelsea, isn't he? He's proper Chelsea. Yeah, man, you can't, you can't knock it, bro. He's Chelsea, man, through and through, man. Who wants to get a put as captain today? He was going to put us today. Is, yeah. Let's let's Come talk on, about Thiago, Thiago Silva. Silva. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Thiago Silva. There's other know, names, Enzo, man. Enzo Enzo Fernandez yeah. can be the captain. He keeps getting the armband when when um like the captain goes off the pitch. So I don't get what's going on there, innit? But listen, the lineup we've got today should be in, should be should be beating Bournemouth regardless, innit? I'm not gonna come in and start Four making excuses. Um, yeah, we're playing we're playing Four three centre backs still. We're still playing three centre backs, but at least now we've got an extra attacker in it. So I'm hoping that Mudrick. You know, watched Doku finish. closely yesterday. You know, took something out of his book, and and he can do the same sort of thing, man. Because I've seen Mudrik run at guys at pace. What, and Mudrik's gonna have braids now, yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> if if the braids are gonna give him powers in front of goal, then so be it. Isn't it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even you, Kunle, I'm sure you can agree, yeah, that when Mudrik came on against you lot at the Emirates last season, bro, he was giving Ben White a torrid time on that side, bro. You know what I'm saying? When he came on and he had the lasers that were guys. Kunle's not gonna. Kunle's not gonna. Kunle's not gonna, <laughs> Kunle's not gonna agree, but. I've seen Mudrik have good cameos. Against Liverpool, yeah, he had, he had a good cameo. No, 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 no. Cameo, even against Arsenal. Arsenal, bro, at the Emirates, he came out against well. James Milner. That was his well. context. He, he done well. He done, no, no, no. Yeah, okay, you can say that. But even against Arsenal, he done well. So today, I'm hoping that he, he you know, we're, we're going to see the, the patterned Mudrik that I've seen in parts. No, no, you're happy about Leslie, innit? You're happy yeah, about Leslie. Leslie. You've been very, screaming for Leslie. Yep, yep, yep. I've been saying that Leslie, Leslie. needs to get more, more opportunities. Leslie, Chuk- 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 yeah. you made me sick, Kule. Kule, you make me sick. You say you come on here talking about you're from the motherland and that you don't know about your, your boy Leslie. Your his uncle is used to play for Nigeria. No, he plays for France, but his uncle no, used to play for Nigeria. Him, he plays his for un- France, bro. Why do I think <laughs> about a man that He's Nigerian France, bro. He, Nigerian heritage? He how many? He doesn't how, rep how many? Doesn't rep okay, us. how many Nigerian? Okay, okay. Is that that should make you hate him more. Like, like, that's exactly. what I was gonna say. No, 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 no. He does rep the Irish hate Greenish. The Irish. No, obviously, plays bro. Come on now, how many players? Okay, do... so he's wait, not wait, Nigerian. No, 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 no. no. Same but I'm way saying, I don't I'm... fuck with Antetokounmpo for because he reps Greece. I don't fuck with him. <laughs> yeah, man. but come on, man. Listen, if the guy don't rep you, the if the guy, if the guy was born in France and he grew up in France, obviously he's gonna play for France, bro. Like it is what it but is. Don, bro, don't bro. let me, for... so... don't, don't let me, let me ask you this then. What if a Zambian player, yeah, was born in Zambia but they went to France when they were young and they just played hey, for France? Like, when you feel type of way? Don't get it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Anyway, that's that's a different debate, isn't it? Yeah, like bro, play for your. It's like where, where you've grown, where you've grown up, where you've, where, where you've grown up, where you've grown up, and what you know is is realistically where you should be playing, in it. Let's be real. But anyway, apart no. from that, Leslie, Leslie, yeah, that's impressed. why Chilwell shouldn't be playing on the wing, in it. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> Leslie, Leslie. Listen, in all the cameos that Leslie's had, yeah, yeah. he's he's really impressed me, in it. You know, he's looked really good on the ball, really tidy, really good, um, yeah. very very solid. He's, he's what like six foot four. Bro, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna, gonna add a little bit of physicality. A bit, uh, from um Everton. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit of an octopus in the midfield, isn't it? So, mm. yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how he does, man. It's a big game for him, but listen, nothing but positive things about Leslie, man, because he's, he's really. Yeah, can I, can I ask you a question, by the way? I've just looked at the team, right? I've just looked at the team quickly, oh, yeah, guys. If they're having the whole team. 
Don, I'm just going to read out the whole team for people. If you're watching right now, so it's Colville, Thiago Silva, Dezazi and Malo Gusto. They've got Leslie and Conor Gallagher sitting. And then it's Mudrick on the left, Enzo in the 10, Sterling on the right and Jackson up top. So basically, right, your captain is out right now and Reese James, yeah? You've dropped mm -hmm. your vice captain in Ben Chilwell. So now yeah. if you go and win today, which is what you're definitely looking for at Chelsea Football Club, you could be going into your next week game at home to Aston Villa, who are a good Aston Villa this year at the moment, without your captain and vice captain. Are you cool with Robert C? If you win today, you're happy for Chilwell to remain out, yeah? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course okay. I'm happy, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't even want this I mean, guy to not, be... I mean, not even playing as a left back and, put, and keeping Mudrick there on the left. You're happy for Colville to play over bro, Chilwell. Bro, if if, if Chilwell's Colville, a better left back than Colville. If, no, yeah, Chilwell, Chilwell is a better left back than Colwell, yeah. But if Colwell today, he's doing them passes that we know he can do, that we've seen at Brighton, even for England, the, the, the passes where he just whips it across from the back and Mudrick's getting on the end of it, then, you know, don't change what's, what's, what's not broken. Do you get what I'm yeah, trying to say? But this so, is the complete Gallagher's captain. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, no, 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 no. What, what, what I'm saying, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. I wouldn't ask oh, this. Oh, I'll let you land. I'm going to let you land fully. But yeah. this is what I'm confused. We was on a show together the other day and we said, mm. play Mudrick on the left wing and then you're happy. And that's mm. on the same show. You said, you're happy if Ben Chilwell stays in the team if he's mm. playing left back. That's what you yep, said. You're right. We've you're changed right. it. Yeah. So we've changed it today and done the first step. He's put Mudrick in. So that's the left winger done. But yep, then if you're yep. keeping Chilwell at left back, cool. That's the right thing to do. But you've actually mm. put Chilwell potentially back in his spot. But no, you've taken yep. him out and said, no, Colville, you're going to actually play left back. So he's kind of defeated the object. Really. No, what, what, yeah, no, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, yeah, I wouldn't have minded Chilwell starting left back today. But what I'm saying is, yeah, if, even with Levi starting at left back today, we should still be winning this game. Do you get it? Because we've actually got an extra attacker now. The main problem was that we had we had an extra defender instead of an extra attack attacker. Ideally, I want I want Cole to play at left centre back, and if he does well today and he starts the next game, I'll understand it. I'll understand it. So only if Cole will get only get left because back today, then. then then obviously yeah, then Ben Chilwell has to come back. Don, one thing I will say, he looks more uncomfortable at left back than left centre back. He does. He does. I agree with you one hundred. And guess who he's up against today? He's up against Tango with Tara, who's a tricky little yeah. man, you know. No, 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 that's very direct. He is. He is direct. He is tight, but what I'm saying is, yeah. Step Even Jaden Anthony, when he comes on, wait, is he starting? Yeah. I, I don't know, innit? Nah. I don't know, innit? Nah, but what not, I'm saying, not, what I'm yeah. saying is, yeah. Mm. What, Pe Pe might, no, I keep saying Pep, but Poch might be looking at it in a way like, okay, cool. We've taken out Chua, who's a little bit of experience. If we take out Thiago Silva as well, that's less experience now because let's oh. say you start a Levi and you start a Desarsi, you've barely got any experience on the pitch. So I understand why he's still playing with a Silva, but still feels the need to play an extra centre back. I don't agree with it. But I can accept it because we've got an extra attacker. Now, if he gets cooked, of course, Ben Chihuahua has to come in. But if today, Cole was playing really well, we're keeping the ball and actually, you know, attacking with serious intent and it works, then next game, I won't I won't be fully against I won't be against it. Because of course not. It's, of course it's, not. It's, 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 it's not. Yeah. That's what, but, that's but, what, that's but, but, but I, I think I think something that the positive from this year, because I, I look, Don, I think Don wants Chihuahua as left back. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. What, but what Don didn't want was Chilwell as a winger, yeah? And I said I said before that for me, Poch... Like, I don't think a manager should ever do what fans tell him to do, yeah? Managers need to do what managers do. However, they also need to understand that it's a risk if they keep doing the same thing and not changing it, right? Mm -hmm. And John must look at this team and go, do you know what? I'm not happy with Gallagher as captain, yeah? Maybe I did want Chilwell at left-back. However, we haven't... Poch hasn't been stubborn and gone, no, I'm staying with the same thing that's been failing. He's made changes. He's got a winger playing on the wing now, right? It's like, okay, we could cool. We see that you are trying to be like, uh, you're trying to think about things. You're trying to make it work. So if it yeah. then works, just because your opinion is you want to see Chilwell at left back, if it works, you'll go, okay, no problem. It's working. You change it, it's working, cool. It's what it is. So, and then I'm, gradually, you know, gradually you've got guys like Badia Shield coming back, and then that could change the shape yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, so, yeah. I'm not in a rush to say completely change the whole shape because I think that could go left as well. That could yeah, go yeah, left yeah, as well. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, I'm saying step by step, but the biggest step was to take Chiwo out of that left wing. Yeah. That was the biggest step. And that's mm -hmm. number one. That's been out of the way now. So yeah, you are right. You are right in saying that, Ty. I did, I did, I did say that I'd rather bench you or left back, but I can firm Levi at left back if we're, you know, keeping the ball and he's actually making those long range passes from the back and defending quite well. I confirm it for this game, okay. innit? I confirm it. Fair. What do you think, Specs? Like you've you've looked at obviously Cho, you've got there, you've actually got their rather left back. You've signed Lewis Hall. I know he's not started um, yet, yeah. but he's gonna come in and obviously get minutes at you lot. But what, what are you thinking about this this Chelsea situation at the moment with Poch and that? You still give it you are you on the camp of like now nah, give him time, let him do what he's doing. 
I'm Rob, I'm definitely about giving him time and let him do what he's doing. There's no, you can't like we all see what it is, you get what I'm saying? Like you can't like like even the situation, you, whoever you put in right now, you're gonna have to give them time because it's like each season, especially from last season, it's, it's like a whole new revamp again, even though you brought so many plays last season. So he's gotta find his time. You get what I'm saying? Obviously, there is no time. There's no more preseason, there's no more, you get what I'm saying? It's like each game, that is it. It's like this is the money. This is the big business. But for now, just give him time. I don't see no no panic or anything drastic. Like, oh my gosh, they're awful. What if, what if they go and lose today and lose to Aston Villa? You, oh, the panic's back instantly. The, the panic's, panic's back, back because yeah. you're. I agree um, with you. The pressure's back. There's got to be a, balance, the back. Got to be a balance between results and time. Yeah, it's hard. It's okay if they if they lose their next two games. Uh, would you say panic? I say it's, it's pressure because this is Chelsea we're talking about. No matter, how, even though we see for what it is, we're trying to revamp and this and that. And like for me, all I want from Poch, if I was a Chelsea fan, even though you've got so many players to contend with and keep happy, I just want to see him with his main, just a main team. You get what I'm saying? Like the mainstays. And I think that's how you can gradually go on. The chopping and changing, changing the shapes, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. It, 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 at some point, it's just going to be a car crash. You get what I'm saying? He needs to try and keep... And, and Modric, for example, I know people are getting on his back a bit. I kind of feel sorry for him, to be honest. Right. I think yeah. I think he needs to keep playing him as well. Just keep playing him and keep playing him. Just, yeah, you get what I'm saying? But it's hard for Chelsea. The Chelsea, you're not losing. Like, you get me? Yeah, man. Huh? Let, 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 us, let us see him start games, yeah? And obviously, he needs if, he's to, not, if, he's not, if he's not doing well, then we can yeah, say, okay, he's yeah. had an opportunity, yeah? Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, 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 just, don't, just, don't just dash him on for 10 minutes and expect him to do something. Like, come on yeah. now. Like, and and then we'll start peppering him. Be fair. Kule, Kule, I know, I know you're going to try and slander him. Listen, right, there's, there's certain cameos. There's nah. certain cameos. Hold on. There's a player in there, bro. There's a player in there. There's certain cameos. Yes, he's come on. He's looked very laxy daisy. You know, defensively, he's poor that's one thing about him you know he takes up positions on the pitch where he shouldn't be there at that moment but again he's a young player he needs to develop and, bro and he's up for it was, it was Mo the other day when Mo players. said well, it was something Mo said the other day where I was saying come on like Mo was trying to talk about why Chilwell should play there and I was going but they've got a winger. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait you... Mo, Mo said that. Oh, no, yeah. So, so <laughs> Mo was trying to basically Mo's say, don't, don't can't believe it. <laughs> no, so, so he was trying to say that maybe Chilwell is the right option there. And I was saying, I'm sorry. Are we really trying to say, yeah, that Mudrick, yeah, a winger that I haven't watched him at other clubs too tough, yeah, but he's a winger that. Maybe you paid more than he's worth, but it's well, worth a certain it amount, yeah? yeah? That's worth... Arsenal wanted him, yeah? There's something there, and you're trying to tell me that Chilwell, who is... Bro, ever and, ever and bidded... That's just to, just, to, just, to, just to literally back up your point. No, ever and bidded, you know like, what, what said, 35 million for him? They bidded, yeah, like, 35 yeah, million. and that's for fine, but, but the key is, he is a winger that Arsenal yeah. Chelsea wanted, right? Chilwell is a left back that's never played wing before. And Mo goes, I go, just give him a bit of time. And Mo goes, well, he's come on. He's, he's had 40 minutes here. Oh, and I remember there. that stream, that. Like, oh, I remember that stream. 40 minutes here and there. You can't give a player. No, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can name Where's you games. I can name you games last but don't, season. Don't, 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 don't. Playing well. Wait, yeah. I remember Mo, Mo was asking, I can't remember he was on the panel, but he was asking, ah, oh, but what does Magic have over Chilwell? Chilwell has more assists. He was listing things off. No, but Oh, we really doing this. I, I wish I was on that show. Big I wish up, I was big up the show. chat. Man. The people in the chat that are more obsessed with how bad my teeth are rather than what I'm saying. Big them up, first of all. Second and I'll call people. Let's go do that. Let's go do that in the you're, chat, you're, 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 you're never going to hear me slander a man right. that picks their country over their career. You're never going to hear me talk shit about Mudrick, bro. Big up Mudrick yeah. each and every time, bro. Man picked his country over his career. So give it, cut him some slack. I hope I, I hope it works out for him. He needs some game time, hundred percent. And so, wait, you think you think set. you think the move? You still think the move happened because of Mudrick and not your club? My brother, he picked just do some his, research. His country over just his do career, some brother. research. No, 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 Kunle. No, no. Let's 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 let this Mudrick thing in the bud. Yeah, go do some research and go see that the, the go see the unrealistic things that Arsenal are trying to add to that clause and and these unrealistic things that they're trying to add on to the deal. That's what blew it for you lot. If you lot paid what what Shakhtar wanted, right? With realistic add-ons, and would have had the player. 
yeah, and the agent. But, you would have yeah, you would have had the player. Add, Chelsea, add uh, Chelsea <laughs> offered Chelsea offered the exact same amount as you, but we offered them realistic add-ons. You didn't. That's and why you they also messed up. offered Don't them blame the charity player. match at Stamford Bridge, which Arsenal weren't going to offer them. Innit? They gave the charity right, match at Stamford Bridge that Zinchenko just played in. So big him up, bro. He saved this country, man. Why? Why are we debating how Woodrick? I don't look at him as a footballer anyway. He picked his his country of his career. If he was so good and and this and that, he would be playing games back to back. He's not that guy. He's not that guy, and I don't think he's going to fulfill his potential at Chelsea. But he deserves a chance. He deserves run runs a game, three four games in a row. For us how to can you make that? No, that's what I'm saying, Kunle. How can how can yeah, people make that? How can how can you make how can you make how can you make that full judgment? Yeah, when you haven't seen him getting a consistent run of games. I'm talking starting from the beginning because me, I'm all about I'm I'm all about being fair in it. You know I'm saying uh-huh. same way I said about about Palestri, Give him the opportunity. Is the same way I'm saying now about Mudrik. Yeah, give him the opportunity. I can't fully, I can't sit here slandering the guy, fully judging the guy when I'm seeing him getting here you go minutes, bro. I can't. Yeah. Why is he not being given the opportunity? Though? We need to get into that. Of Why course, of course, we can get into that. We can get into that. He might, what about he might. Not... Sancho? Why is he not getting the opportunity? Because they're not performing yeah. when they get the opportunity. That's the yeah. But Kunde, this is the frustrating thing, though. Chelsea love to post training videos of Mudrik ripping it up in training. Yeah, teasing us. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I had to at them the other day. I added Chelsea, yeah, bro, yeah. on Twitter. I added them on. T- on I said, bro, that video made him look cold. I can't lie. I said, I said, I said to them, stop showing us Mudrik videos if you're not gonna play him. I said, stop showing us Mats and pictures if you're not gonna play him. That's what I do. Yeah. People will start saying, oh, maybe he's not showing it in training. Okay, so then why are you showing us what he's doing in training if he's not yeah. doing it in training then, yeah? He he was linking up really well with Jackson in, in, in pre-season. If you remember that goal he scored against Brighton, that was a link up from the left with Jackson. Mikhailo Mudrik did that, by the way. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And then all of a sudden, he's not getting any any starts. Come on, bro. we we got well, to judge today, him when he's today, getting, today, getting a run today, of games, innit? Today, which is good, he's got his opportunity. Big up for the Super Chat. Yeah, four, he does, four, he does. Country over, career... Put it on some merch. <laughs> Big up hit for four. Guys, it make sure you run up the like, to. man. Um, still, still 900 of you here. Been 900 throughout the whole show. So big up you guys staying low and watching us on a Sunday before all the games kick off as well. Obviously, Chelsea are going to Bournemouth away. Team news, if you haven't seen it, no Casado. Leslie starts in midfield. No Ben Chilwell. He's on the bench. Midrick comes in and Levi Colville is playing left back. Roms, I know you've got to make a move in five minutes. Is this mm. a win at all costs for Chelsea? Draw horrible result. They must. Anything other than three points is, for me, it's just another howler. It is literally just another howler. They have to win this. Have to. Because this will just carry on mountain pressure onto, um, this will carry on mountain pressure onto Poch. And one thing Chelsea fans can't say now is everyone's in their position, bar maybe Cole. Everyone is in their position. So if Chelsea do not win, I well, think Gallagher, Gallagher, Gallagher's not in his position. He's playing in the pivot. Yeah, sorry, sorry, so, so, so actually, but Cole, no, actually, I'm just going to say Gallagher, as much as um, Colwell's not in his best position, he's still, he's still not alien to that left back role. He's played there before. So it's not like it's the first time. It's not like he's a novice to the role. But I feel like if Chelsea lose today, now it can't really be, obviously, you have to see his in game management, how the game goes, but it can't really be on Poch now. He's now playing the players, the majority of them in their positions. Now, I think this is when Chelsea lose today, it'll be more on the players than Poch. That's what I think the narrative will have to what, be. What I want to see, yeah, yeah Roms, yeah, what I want to see, yeah, is that if it's quickly, really don't, quickly, don't, 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 oh, don't, just before you oh. go, me and my screen record button, we're best friends. What's your score prediction? <laughs> just quickly. They, and don't, um, just answer, just I'm gonna say, the score I'm, line. I'm just gonna say, say a score line. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 2-1 two, two, Chelsea. I can still see us conceding. I'm going to say 2-1 Chelsea, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? I can still see us conceding. But one what, minute, I say, what, seconds. What, what, I, what I will say... I know, yeah, I know, I know there's a depends in there somewhere. No, no, no. What I, what I will say... Yeah, is right, today, it is. Today, <laughs> If, oh, no, if, they, if, there if, has to be when you're playing Bournemouth. If there Poch, should always be a depend in there with Bournemouth, yeah, right? If, if Poch, yeah, <laughs> if Poch, if Poch can clearly see that something's not working, whether that's up front, whether that's in the midfield, you know, I'm trying to see guys like Palmer coming on. I'm trying to see guys like Matson coming on. You get it? our bench is very weak, but it's got a few options there. And it, Palmer not starting today is, yeah. is, is, is even that annoyed me. me. Yeah, it's even yeah, annoyed yeah, me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I thought, me, I, to be fair, I, I wanted him to start in that ten yeah, and, then, and then play. And then play Enzo and Casado there, but obviously Casado's not there. Maybe Enzo and Leslie there, but he loves Gallagher. This is why I wanted to get rid of Gallagher. I kept saying this to guys: there's certain players that managers like, bro. It doesn't matter yeah. whether we don't rate them. If that manager rates them, they're going to play, bro. That's why I wanted yeah. to sell him. Just get rid of him. Do you know what I'm trying to say? 
So yeah. this is what we have to deal with, isn't it? Gallagher captain, but we should be winning this game, man. 2-1, I'm going to say, man. Yeah, I, I agree. Chelsea Chelsea have to win today. Need to get back to winning ways. You've got a tough game against Aston Villa despite their poor away record next week. So you need to get... It's like us. You need to get the wheels turning somewhere and somehow. Do you know what I'm saying? And today against Bournemouth, hopefully, is that way. Couldn't they? Sorry to cut you. I know this is completely irrelevant, but Balogun's just come on. Within 10, 10 seconds, he, he scored. Yeah, two within one. 10 seconds. Yeah, 2-1 Monaco. Balogun, it was a good goal as well. Bad boy goal. It? Kule, what do you think of him playing for America? Oh, that one hurts. I'm not going to lie. That one, why, why are you taking me there? Man, Dan, left now. But you know, but you know, do you know oh, what? Oh, scrap the t-shirt. Scrap, not, scrap the t-shirt, RJ. Yeah, scrap it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that upset because of the strikers that are coming through for Nigeria right now, but I was I was very annoyed that he picked them over the Super Eagles. It's, it's, it's too it's much so, now, but it's with, a with our setup, yeah. you can't blame it, though. Yeah. It's not too late for Leslie. I mean, he's only played 21s, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he might choose to play for Nigeria, you never know. But he, listen, he's been pulling, so... If he's smart he might, and he wants to go to a World Cup, he should play for the Super Eagles, because he ain't getting into that France team, bro. Super <laughs> Eagles? What, Palace? Hey, hey, watch yourself. <laughs> watch yourself. <laughs> Hey, to be fair, he would suit the man down there. Yeah, he would suit the man there. Actually, would suit the man there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But and I couldn't lay on to you lot because let's be real. Four and five, I think you've lost at Goodison Park earlier. The camera froze and you you were doing a little Sunday prayer and that for Goodison Park. So like we we gripped you live in the flesh. Um, yeah, man. Like you you don't gotta overcome something that you haven't been used to doing at the moment because when you go to Everton, they're quite physical. They dominate you that side. They're not the better football team, but they somehow just seem to have your number. Does it change today? Because if it does, you go two points behind City. If it doesn't, you're five points behind them already, bro, after five games of football. And that is the facts. Uh, to be honest, I, I, I think it does change today. That, that doesn't mean I'm not nervous at going to Goodison because the history is the history. Like, you can't completely ignore that because even we, we've gone there the last two seasons and lost games that we shouldn't and we weren't really involved in. So I believe signing a player like Declan Rice is, is, is the reason why we win this game. He's going to be up for the game and he's not going to let the boys drop their heads. And he's obviously gassed and excited off the back of scoring a winning goal against Man. You obviously watched Ty's interview before on the rival show, calling him out. And ever since... Ever since he watched Never a Foul show two weeks ago, he's been galvanised, man in the match, winning goal. And I think he's going to be man... What? Am I going to say another man in the match today? I think he's going to be very influential in today's game. Is it going to be a, a tough game? Dice, you know you know Dice Ball. They're going to try and bully us. They're going to set mm -hmm. plays and all sorts. But I see us getting the job done. I don't think it's you necessarily going to be a, cons a convincing must. win. But I think we win 2-1. By any means. Person. By any means. Yeah, any, so I think it's going to be a snack... Snatching grab, 2-1, 1-0, one of those type of games. Oh, man. handball, handball not given, yeah. all them the things that are good. All of it, yeah. Oh, all <laughs> of that, all of that, all of that. And then you do, and then and then that's the thing. And then you don't talk about it, you just keep it moving. That's what Arsenal yeah. need to keep doing at this yeah. point in the season, just keep picking up them points. <laughs> Kule, I can't lie, I can't lie, Kule. I'm hearing yeah, Deitch is going to go over four four two. you know. And, you know, Beto, that guy's looking good, man. He, so, he's a problem, he's a problem, saying. bro. <laughs> I watched them. I watched them against Sheffield United, yeah, bro. He was looking good, man. I can't lie. He's he's got gonna feet be a problem for, a big for you guys. Guy. Yep, he's got feet for a big guy. I'm not gonna lie. Like this is this is one of them games. Here. He's not, he's and, not I'm, and you know what, Kunle? I'm gonna flip it, yeah, and actually a bit compare it to the West Ham City game yesterday. West Ham and Everton, they like to play in their sort of low blocks. They're comfortable in that scenario. West Ham went one 0 up yesterday against Man City. Man City were able to come back three one and win that game. A lot of teams might not have been able to do that yesterday. If you don't go one 0 down to Everton today, and I'm not trying oh, to say it's going to be a psychological thing thing, yeah, but you know the new owners. I think they will see they got will new be, owners. It will yeah. be psychological, bro. like psychological. They got the new owners now, so the fans are going to be buzzing, thinking about a long term future. You know, uh, first game back after international break, Super Sunday. You know, I think uh, Beto's home debut, Calvert Lewin. Might be on the bench. You've got Dan Juma there. If they go one nil up, you, they, they're going to be on it. They're going to be on it. Like, and you guys if have got to show another minute. Hmm. Big Wahala for us now. Let me not lie to you. They go one nil up. Wahala. Exactly. We got already. Can you do what City so. done yesterday? Can you do that? Um. Well, if we if we want to be known as the guys that are closest to challenging City for the title, we can't be. Yeah. We shouldn't be worried about these games. We have to get it done mm. any which way. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of my fan base are screaming for that that guy to that German guy to start again this game. They're talking about the guy, <laughs> all that stuff. Like I'm not gonna lie, bro. All that I I need him benched for this game. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I hear that's the height stuff, but 
uh, it's not just height that's going to get us past Everton at the end of the day, and it's quality and being able to be effective in the game. Yeah, he mm-hmm. got a little assist for Germany, but um, Havertz has got to be for, for me to get behind Havertz, he's got to take risks, and then and the risks have to work. All this safe, safe football where he passes it back and that it's not progressive that, that doesn't impress me. Anyone can keep the ball ticking. We never we never bought uh, Havertz to keep the ball ticking or to be good off the ball that everyone keeps giving him props for. We want him to make a difference, get goals, win the... Win. He's winning his aerial duels. I'm confused, couldn't they? Because I asked, you, I asked you a question about your team coming back from 1-0 down and the mental side of your team, but you're just talking about Havertz, bro. You haven't answered the question, sir. I so did you... answer the question. Oh, we get in trouble I, for I doing that, first. talking on Havertz. I actually answered the question first. I said, if that happens, big Wahala for Arsenal. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, so no, short no, and no, simple. No. Okay, you kept it short yeah. and simple. I thought you were doing a diverting. I thought you were doing a daunting. No, no, okay. I don't do that. Man. I, don't do that. I answer the question first. I maybe add context after. He yeah, but I feel, like Havertz, I feel like Havertz, truthfully, is going to start because of how big yeah, so Everton's team is. So do I. So do I. Yeah, like that's, that's mm. the truth. Actually, people don't want him to. When you think of Anana, you think of Decore, you think of Tarkowski, like Michael Keane. I know Havertz is not the biggest frame, but he has got the height and, you know, he can win some of them jewels. And I think he will start today because of that. Um, someone says here, you see him, Gabriel Jesus is at Everton for the first time for Arsenal. That could be key. Would you throw him in? Of course. 100%. Yeah, he has to come in for me. Yeah, yeah has to come in. Look at the difference he made when he came on against yeah, you. Yeah, 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 it's just yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah, a million percent. Yes, that, that that change for me is more important than um than what happens with Havertz. Whether Havertz starts or not is not as important as whether Jesus starts or not for me. I don't know. I think the interesting one, Saka man as well, because there's that news about. I know it's not an injury as such. It's more of a reoccurring like a niggle, a, a niggle, a nagging issue that's there. But with with the fact that Mister dickhead waistcoat decided to bring him on as a sub and play him and whatever and it's the form he's oh, in yeah, I think you have it? to start you have to start Saka but I, I think yeah they need to I've, I've got my eyes on that one I've got my eyes on that one yeah 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 he has especially, to be now, especially now especially now with Champions League coming in from this week yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah 100% week, like, and, and that's the um, thing that's the, that's what I've been saying the last couple of days yeah about Arsenal at the moment um, that the expectations are not just to do bigger fish to fry and just go for one competition. The expectations mm-hmm. are that look Arsenal are, are so looking forward to the Champions League. They want to go on a run and that, right? You have to start that off well. They want to be in a title race. They also want to know that if, you know, they drop off in either of them, they're not out of cup competitions. They mm. want to compete in everything. And this is why mm-hmm. I keep saying that right now, like Arsenal fans, sorry to tell you how you should feel or whatever, but... Just uh, so I won't say that, I'd say understand that maybe what Arteta is doing at the moment is trying to use the squad a bit more, trying to reserve energy and not go gung ho in it because he knows it's a long season, right? So that's why I keep saying, as long as Arsenal are picking up three points, mm-hmm. just be happy with that and keep it moving, nah, yeah? Because there could I'm be reasons that. behind that. Yeah, and, there and could be, be reasons you, behind that. That's why I've not been overly critical on Arteta this season because he's been. Picking up points. At the end, they only dropped yeah. points in one game, which we shouldn't have. I believe we created enough chances to win that Fulham game. Mm. We put that to bed. I think the mistake he made in that was taking up Odegaard for Jorginho at the time that he went down to 10 men. But that's for another stream, I guess. But I, I agree with Daps. Like, he, he's utilising the squad. I, I heard an interview with Trossard this week where he's talked about when, when the team starts playing three games a week, the manager's promised him more minutes and stuff. Yeah. So I do believe he uses the team better. But you see things like... I need Arteta to, to prove to me that he does have confidence in this squad. Like, for example, I shouldn't be scared if today I see Reese Nelson starting in, instead of Saka. I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, spot on. Because, my, spot on. because my manager says he's good enough to give him a contract and blah, blah, blah. I shouldn't be. But am I am I going to be scared? <laughs> That comes with yeah. time. That comes with yeah, time. Yeah. And that's um, the thing. What I, I feel like that, that's where... Pep is so damn good with City that he knows about... Uh, he's got the squad yes. moving to a point now where everyone knows, everyone at City, even players join City knowing you're coming in to be part of a 17, 18-man squad, right? And even like, and you will... There'll be times where he'll call on you. Like, 
And if if you're cool with that, know that you're going to end the season with a minimum of probably 15, 20 appearances. And I'm even mean even meaning like the fringe players, like mm-hmm. you're still getting, but you're ending the season with trophies, right? You're part of a team. Mm-hmm. This is a team and everyone's important in the team. The damn receptionist's important in the team, right? Everyone's the, important the and that's how you get there. Important. Well, win is so important. <laughs> He is. We yeah, and it, dog, you know, facts. Yeah. Mental health. That's you know what? Cool, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the show here because I know we've done an hour and a half already, and the games do kick off in 20 minutes. The only thing I'm gonna leave it on a cliffhanger is Arsenal need to win today, and the reason I say they need to win today is because next week North London derby, and yeah. the way Tottenham won that game last week, they are just gonna be going into that game feeling more confident than they probably have like, ever been in the last yeah. few years. And that's wait, more wait, tight, 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 tight. Perfect. It's one point on that. Just one point on that. One point on that. One point on that. Please, please, please. Bro, I'm so glad he's saying that. I'm so glad he's saying that. I'm so glad he said the more confidence part. So let's go back. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. You will save it for next Sunday. Hold on. Couldn't lay. Couldn't lay. Couldn't lay. Couldn't lay. Couldn't lay. Did you watch? Hold on. Did you watch last night? Yeah, right, so, yeah, 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 right. Yeah, so, so Deji, Deji was Deji was really trying to tell me that I need to give Tottenham more respect and admit they're in a title race. Yeah? yeah, but yeah. we kept <laughs> saying, was... "Yeah, oh yeah, bro, it's hilarious. It was it was fucking hilarious." But I we kept pressing him. But I said, "You're going to win at the Emirates next week, right?" And he was like, oh, "Well, you know, if defense, if so. we win at the Emirates, no, 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 are you going to win at the Emirates? Yeah, they're not that confident." They're not that confident. So I'm, I'm, yeah, they're not I'm not going to throw myself it. under couldn't the bus couldn't like couldn't last couldn't season. That's what we'll next week, next Sunday, next Sunday, because we'll make sure we finish before the game. Bring so Deji on. Bring yeah, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get all George on or whatever. But we'll we'll get a nice little panel in North London. 12 o'clock, we'll wrap it up by one so everyone can get ready for the North London derby. But yeah, all I'm saying is win today because, yeah, Tottenham are coming next week, hopefully. So yeah, let's see. On that note, guys, big up for your super chats throughout the show. Make sure you like the video. Thanks to everyone for staying locked in. Let's see if Chelsea get the points for Don. Let's also see if Arsenal get the points for Kunle. Man United have failed again. Newcastle have won. Liverpool have won. It's the worst weekend possible for me. But we rock on to Bayern next week and Harry Payne. On that Champions note, League, Harry, baby. Harry, I said Harry Page, you know. Champions. <laughs>